Have you got a bent mast on your boat? Well, let's have a look and see what you can do about that. Hello, it's Joe here for Joyrider TV. And this morning we've discovered that one of our 16s has got a bent mast. Uh, if you've got a bent mast on your boat, then the main problem is it will affect the mast rotation. So it is worth trying to get rid of that bend. Uh, there's a technique that we use here uh, that has got a reasonably good success rate. This technique can be used if anything else is bent as well, but of course you have to scale it down. So if you've got a bent spinnaker pole, boom, tiller extension, that kind of thing, then you can use this same technique. So here is the mast in question. And if I bring this up like this, We can see that there is a bend in there. It's bent off to the right there. So what we've done first is we've highlighted where the center of the bend is, which is about here. And then what we've done is we've put it so that the center of the bend is between two points. So we put it on the box on this side and on a trestle on this side. So the center of the bend is right in the middle and then the technique couldn't be simpler all right so let's offer it up okay so what we're gonna do is just get to where the center of the bend is and we're just gonna bounce it and when the bend comes out you will pretty much feel a significant change So I've got Marco down the end, he's just gonna check that to see if anything's happened. It's unlikely with a mast that you can do it with one person. Do you wanna have a look? Okay, so we've actually we've actually overcooked that a little bit and it's bent the other way a little bit there. Okay, so we finished uh, the bouncing there. That was literally how long it took on this occasion. Um, and there you can see the mast is pretty much straight. What you can use to check is uh, just run the halyard down from the top to the bottom and see if it deviates from, uh, from a straight course at all from the mast track and that will tell you if the mast is truly straight. But there we are. So we can put that back on the boat now and uh, job done. So of course, the more times you perform this operation, it is gonna weaken your mast slightly and the mast will then become bent a lot easier. What causes a bent mast? Uh, possibly if the boat capsizes and the mast goes into the bottom. If you capsize, somebody falls onto the mast, especially if the downhaul's on uh, and the mast is under compression, then that could cause a bent mast. Or perhaps on the trailer, if you turn a corner and you catch the tip, you don't want to be catching your tip. Um, that could cause a bent mast. If you've got any ways that you can think of that you can bend your mast, just stick it in the comment section below. But uh, thanks very much, thanks for watching. I hope this has been very useful uh, to you and you can unbend your poles using this technique. Uh, but of course, any suggestions that you have or techniques that you've used that have worked in the past, just put it in the comments and so that we can all learn from your experience. Thank you very much.